Hey! Hi there! Music Scrap the Musical Scrapper here with a very quick tip on cleaning your jelly plate. Ever wonder how to get these extra bits and pieces off your jelly plate? Get out your packing tape. Well, I pulled that a little bit too hard. This is nice. Actually, this is nice thin. This I got Dollarama. It's Elmer's. And it's actually thinner than other packing tape that I've had, which is really nice. If you're going to use it for collage later on. It's really nice that it's thin. Oh, or like Carrie says, you can use baby oil or mineral oil to re recondition your plate. That's I, Carrie Love, on Ustream and on YouTube. Sophia, drag it out. Drag out your plate. I'm just overlapping these a little bit. This is a preview to my next tutorial video part five because I'm going to be using this technique in my next video. careful you don't want to use the pointy end this is a Martha Stewart bone folder so it has a nice rounded side and I'm just going to take the nice rounded edge and make sure this tape is nicely adhered to the plate when I peel it up it's going to clean up all the paint and it's going to be stuck onto the tape. Oh, now I should have had, hold on. I need to get a piece of, I need to get plastic ready. One moment, please. I need a 12 by 12. Oh, that's not going to be quite big enough. Hmm. Well, I'll do it the best I can with that need a piece of plastic to put it on because there's going to be parts that don't have that are still going to be sticky all right so now you can also do it so it doesn't overlap if these are coming to pieces because it's sticking to stuff that's on my desk oh my gosh that's okay. I'm going to take it off in several, in a couple of pieces anyway, then, so that I can store it better. Woo! Okay, so now you have a piece of tape with all this cool, funky stuff on it. And I'm just going to store it on top of this piece of plastic here. I should have had a and you can cut it up into smaller pieces actually I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm going to attach it right to the piece of paper look at that and I need one more line of paper up here at the top. Tape, I mean. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Fold it around the other side because it's getting stuck everywhere. All right. Now I'm just going to go. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. I'm going to go over the plate. Go back to places that have some tape on or paint left. Pick it up. As long as there's sticky left on your tape. All right, don't give me a thumbs down on my video, please. If you don't like what I'm doing, just don't watch. This is so silly. Yes, they are tutorials, but you're not paying for them. They're free. I'm not doing this professionally. I am not representing Jelly Arts, or I would make sure my tutorial was definitely more professional. So, yeah. Just saying. Not going to make me cry if you give me a thumbs down, but what's the point? Really? Don't have anything good to say? Don't say anything at all. Okay. So there we go. Got some chunky stuff. <clears throat> I'm actually just going to take piece of deli paper and put it right on there. Now it's ready to use with collage. And if you want to get rid of the, sh the shine of the packing tape, you can put matte medium over it and that will get rid of the shine. Sorry, I'm just trimming off the ends that are sticking over. I know I'm off camera, but I only have so much space. There. Okay. So, thank you for watching this quick video on how to clean your jelly plate using packing tape.